All right, sixth grade, we're here for chapter 27, Pieces of Eight. Treasure Island has progressed on, but when we had last left Jimmy, he had fired both guns and Israel hands had fallen overboard. And let's him, and he'd been pinned to the mast by the knife thrown to his shoulder. Let's resume right where we left off. And Jim looks down and sees that, in fact, Israel hands is dead in the water. Jim has killed a guy. And he's kind of stuck, struck with grief because it's the first time he's ever killed a person. And it's an intense experience, and he's obviously very shaken up by it. However, Jim then starts to worry about, okay, well, how am I going to get down? I, he's thinking about, oh, I'm going to have to pull a knife out of my shoulder. It's going to hurt a lot. And he shudders. And the little bit of skin that had been pinched suddenly is cut free, and the knife's out of his shoulders. Jim had barely been grazed, and he was being something of over, something that we would call overly dramatic. Jim, now free, dutifully disposes of O'Brien, the other dead man's body, by throwing it overboard with Israel hands into the water. He then does his best to make sure the Hispaniola doesn't sail away. He's kind of cutting down sails and like, well, I hope this works. I don't know if it will. I'm sure it'll be fine. Jim, as we have seen, is not the best at planning. And Jim thinks, everyone's going to love this. Sure, maybe the captain will be mad I deserted my post. But... They're going to love it when I go back to the stockade and I let them know I took back the Hispaniola all by myself. And so Jim starts making his way across the island back towards the stockade. And he sees that there was clearly a bonfire at the stockade and he gets kind of worried. He's like, huh, that's not like what the captain would do. And there's actually a word here that um, we don't use today. It's not a bad word, but it sounds like a bad word, which is why it is no longer used. The connotation is there. Um, and that on page... 156, he says that the captain had been niggardly with the fired wood, N-I-G-G-A-R-D-L-Y, not related to the swear word, but still a word we don't use, but it means that you're being very stingy with something. It's not a word that we really use today because it sounds so much like the swear word. Jim makes it, and then he sees that, the you know, there's no watchmen, which is kind of weird, but then he realizes, yeah, I did kind of ditch them without enough watchmen, so I hope they're okay. And then he hears, Rah! Brace it away! Pieces away! Pieces away! And he realizes he's hearing a parrot. Captain Flint, the parrot. Long John Silver's parrot. And then the chapter ends with someone be bringing out a, with one of the pirates bringing out a torch and Long John Silver saying, "Who is it?" So Jim has walked right into Long John Silver's camp, and they the pirates are in the stockade. What has happened to the honest hands? Go ahead and leave your thoughts about that in the in the comments. What do you think is going to happen to Jim? Is he now stuck on his own against these pirates? Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one, 6th grade. Take care.